Hey, welcome back to your Daily Sale Insight. I'm Paul Martinelli. Today, I want to focus on keeping quiet. A, a big mistake salespeople make is ambushing the sale. And often, this is driven from that old adage of ABCs of selling, right? Always be closing. And most salespeople interpret this as always be talking. <laughs> Have you ever been the buyer and had a salesperson not shut up long enough for you to ask a question? or to give a full reply, or to even send a signal of, of, of just a micro agreement. Did you notice how fast that broke rapport with you? A, a great idiom to use is selling is not telling. See, in the sales process, we have said that every word has to fight for its life. Every word has to earn its right to be spoken and heard. So pay attention when you're selling. Notice if you've developed the common mistake of telling and not selling. You have to allow space for the prospect to reflect on what you're saying and to ideally form a micro agreement with it. Just because we call this a micro agreement doesn't mean that it happens fast. So when you ask Jim or Mary, does that make sense? Be sure, be sure that you wait and you observe not only what they say, but, but how they say it and their body language when they do. I'm taking classes right now on, on how to speak Italian. And often the teacher will ask me, you know, if I got it, right? Or, you know, if, if, it, if you know, if, if it makes sense. And, and I'll tell her yes. But really, in my mind, I, I'm still processing. Like, it makes sense at one level. But if, but if she's not paying attention to me, if she's not really watching me on the Zoom, she may miss my kind of dazed and confused look or, or, or not hear the hesitation when I say, yeah, I think I got it. Right? Your job is to observe everything in the process and to use all of your tools of intuition. When you don't have a clear signal in their word choice, in their tonality, their body language, you need to stop, you need to back up, and you need to build certainty while maintaining rapport. A, a, a great phrase to use here is, let's take our time here. Let's take our time here, there's, there, there's no rush. See. What's most important to me is that I make sure that I've done a good job at explaining everything to you, right? I, that's, what I, that's how I want to position myself. Notice, I don't say, you know, what's important to me is that you understand it. See, Jim or Mary may not want to come across as not understanding and tell you that they do understand when they really don't fully understand. Today, my team and I, we spent the afternoon with a CPR trainer. And he was just here six months ago. And when he was here last time, all six of us in our office, you know, we told the trainer that we understood everything. And then two weeks after he left, I spot checked the team by asking each and every single one of them. I walked them through and said, you know, tell me what you would do if one of us is collapsed in the office right now. What do you do? Well, the, the longest short of this is the person who would have collapsed would have died, right? With six certified people around them and a defibrillator. We have a defibrillator in the office. We all would have been standing around not knowing what to do, all with our certifications in CPR. How did this happen? Well, it happened because my team lied. <laughs> Just like your prospects lie when they say they understand something. See, never underestimate the power of our past programming that asks us the question, what will people think of me? See, no one wants to look or feel not in the know. When, when, you're, when you're giving information to your prospect, be very careful that they actually do understand what you're telling them. And even more importantly, the importance of them knowing the information. Remember, experience is your best teacher. So practice this today on your calls, and I bet you will find your prospects will be more engaged and more willing to ask you leading, buying questions when you slow down and really make sure they understand. I'll see you tomorrow.